you guys back to the live video tutorial where I'm going to show you guys step by step how to create a landing page to collect email addresses from your WordPress website. Yay! I'm getting used to this picture in picture thing like the camera's up here, but I keep looking all around. It's all good. All right. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to be using one of my favorite tools, which is none other than da -da -da -da, Thrive Architect. There should be a picture somewhere. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to be using Thrive Architect. Um, it is a WordPress uh, visual builder, and um, it's one of my favorite, favorite tech tools. Um, so if you want to learn more about that, there's a link below that you can get, um, that you can click on to get access to it, or you can go to yourchicgeek.com backslash TCB. Um, this will take you directly to the Thrive Architect page, just so you know. It is an affiliate link, so if you decide to, to get, the, um, get this plug-in, I will get a small commission. So, anyways, let's get into this. So, I'm in the back end of my WordPress website, guys. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to go to New, and then I'm going to click Page. Now, what I would suggest is to name your page for your, or your landing page for your freebie, something that's related to the freebie so you can easily identify it as you're going through your WordPress page. So, the freebie that I'm giving away is five ways to make your WordPress uh, oh, five ways to make your website epic, okay? So I'm just going to do epic website for the name of the page. I'm going to go ahead and click publish to publish this page. And then that is pretty much it. Now, um, as far as installing Thrive Architect, guys, they have changed the way that you do the installation now. It used to be that you would go, download the plugin, upload it, activate it, put in your code and all of that. But now Thrive uh, Themes has put together what's called a product manager where you can actually um, go and download this one plugin, install it into your site, and then you can connect to your Thrive Themes account. And then from there, you can actually install your uh, Thrive Architect uh, plugin and activate it. It's really easy. And I'm glad that they've done it that way because it does make things a lot easier. Okay, so after you get through installing and launching or installing the Thrive Architect plugin, you're basically just going to go here where it says Launch Thrive Architect. Um, after, of course, you have created your page and saved it. Okay, so this is going to come up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to first off, I'm going to move this over here because it's in the way, but we're going to go over here to the right. And um, the first one is for add elements, and then the second one is where you want to click to go to choose or change template, okay? Now, what I love about Thrive Architect is I'm going to click filter templates by tags so that I don't have to go through all of the landing pages because there's a lot of them. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click lead generation, okay? And then these are all of the lead generation templates, guys, that they have. And like I said, they have a lot of them in here. So it really just makes um, creating a lead gen page like super duper easy, okay? So the lead gen page that I'm going to be using today that's the easiest to create is going to be this one. It's the bright lead generation page. So I'm going to select this and then I'm going to click to choose template, okay? All right, we're rocking and rolling and cooking with Crisco. Now, first things first is I am a big fan of branding and consistent branding. So what I love about Thrive Architect is it makes it super easy, guys, to customize any page that you create and want to build using these templates. So for example, you see this background section right here? I don't want to keep this as a red color because this is not one of the colors in my color palette. So I'm going to go ahead and change this. To do that, I'm just going to go to where it says background style. I'm going to click on this section and then over here where it has the color, I'm going to click inside of the color and then underneath hex and RGB, I'm going to apply my color code for my brand. Okay. So that I can make this, you know, make it consistent with my brand. Okay. So that's the color. And then I'm going to go ahead and click save work. Okay. Now underneath this, is where you can go and add your title. So instead of the five simple steps to boosting your website's conversions, okay, what I'm going to do is do five ways to make your, I'll just do WordPress website epic, okay? And then I'm just going to kind of unbold this just to kind of 
you know, make it over a little bit, click enter, and then just kind of put this as a two liner for my title. Okay, so that's all you have to do for your title. Now, there's a couple of options that you have here in the middle of the page, guys. So one thing that you can do that Thrive has tried to, to add here to make things and to simplify things for you is to, you can either, if you're giving away like some kind of free report or a book or something like that, then all you have to do is come in here to change up the colors and things to this template um, that they have here. So for example, if I just wanted to use, you know, the five ways to make your WordPress website epic, I can just type the title in here, okay? And then in order to make this smaller, I can just highlight this text, come over to main options, and I can drag this over to the left, okay, to make this a little bit smaller, okay? Now that's one thing. And then I can actually highlight this background section of the content box, which is in this section, and then I can come up to background style, and I can actually change the color of this to and add one of my colors. I'm just going to click one of the ones that I have saved, and that's and that's that. And then you can just go down here to add your subtext, okay? So just kind of wanted to show you guys, if you have a free thing that you want to give away, and it's a book, free report, something like that, you can just come in here and just do something like, you know, free report, and then put the title, and then you can put the subtitle and so on and so forth, okay? So, but what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use this free image, uh, this free um, kind of a graphic that they kind of put here as a placeholder. I'm going to delete this and add an actual image and a mock-up that I've created for a lead magnet that I want to give away. So I'm going to go ahead and click to select this. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to click the little trash can icon to get rid of that. And then I'm going to click to get rid of the content box. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go over here to where it says Add Element, and then I'm going to click, you see this little icon here where it says Image? I'm going to hold down on this. Oops, I went too fast. This thing is, yeah, it's kind of fast here, so let me put this up here. Okay, so let me go back, and I'm going to go here. I'm going to click Image, and I'm going to drag this over to my page, and I'm going to put this above the background section so right there okay and then what you can do is if you have a mock-up for so for example if i was giving away um i'm giving away a free uh what is it the five ways to make your website epic so maybe if they were some cheat sheets or something like that then what i can do is i can just go into my wordpress website upload that thing okay to my media library and then i can just select it and then i can actually I guess i have to put this over here keeps getting in the way and then I can click insert into post so you see so this is the actual thing that I'm giving away okay and then I can actually bring this down a little bit instead of a hundred percent maybe I can scale it to 50 oops let me go back okay so we can do 50 or you can do 75 or something like that okay put this up here now Okay, so now this is scaled to a 75%. And then the last thing that I want to do is I want to go to layout of position and I want to center this in the middle of the page. Okay, so this is the free thing that I'm giving away, you know, and I mock this up with Canva. So um, if you're interested in learning more about how to do mock ups and things like this in Canva, um, you can head over to check out the uh, Blazing Branding Academy. There's a lot of trainings and things like that that'll teach you how to do this. Okay, so, but anyways. These are some sheets that I created in Canva, and um, I mocked them up, and so I'll pretend that this is the free thing that I'm giving away, okay, to people who are interested in opting in for this freebie. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now, another thing that I'm going to do is I am going to bring the background section of this part right here up just a little bit more so that it can feel more flush to the page because it kind of feels off. And so in order for me to do that, guys, I'm just going to make sure that I highlight this section, okay, right here instead of this section highlight this and then i'm going to come over here and i think it's going to be right here where it says 178 yeah there we go so i'm going to take that to about a 50 or we can even do a 40 okay so now we can click save and now i'm just going to click save and exit so i can preview the page just to kind of see what it's looking like all right so five ways to make your wordpress website epic here's the free cheat sheets and boom this looks great now I'm going to go ahead and go back into Edit with Rob Architect, okay? All right. All right, so we're going to go back in here. And if, you, you know, if you're not satisfied, if you want it to be a little bit smaller, guys, anytime that you want to make edits, 
you can just click on the thing that you want to edit and then here is the size thing so you can just take this down a little bit or you can bring it up so maybe we can make this at about a 60 okay that looks good I'm gonna save the work and that's it now the next thing that I'm gonna do and um, I think this is important for branding is to go in and where it says enter your name and email address below and get instant access is I'm gonna highlight this guys get instant access I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna go and over where it says hex and RBG I'm gonna again put in my color code okay and then I'm gonna put a pound sign in front of it now what I'm gonna do now is show you guys something that I feel like is really important and it saves time is instead of putting your color codes in here every time what you can do is under my colors you can click this little plus sign to save that color and then you can select to, to save it as a global color or you can save it as a favorite I've already done this but now I'm gonna go ahead and save it as a global color and then I'll click apply and so like I said what this does is that it simplifies things from a design perspective and a branding perspective so that whenever you're creating landing pages and things like that you don't have to keep typing in your color codes you can type it in once save it as a favorite and then that's it so if we change that color then now we're gonna connect the form to our email marketing service so to do this what you want to do is go to connect form to service okay now I'm using active campaign but I'm just gonna pretend that I'm starting from scratch so I'm gonna to go to add new API connections okay and then this is where you go to do that and then I'm gonna go over to where it says put this up here okay to where it says add new connection and then this is where you can select your app guys so if you're using Aweber you select Aweber constant contact drip convert kit so on and so forth okay just kind of depending on who you're using now after you have successfully connected to your email marketing service you should get a a successful connection alert that, t that tells you that everything is connected properly now if you're not sure on how to find your API connection keys just go to Google and so just do Google uh, how to find API keys for MailChimp how to find API keys for your email marketing service and you should be good to go okay so but once you've connected to your API then it's gonna show up here in this section okay so now I'm gonna pop back over to my um, my form so that I, we can go ahead and connect this and I'll show you how it works with active campaign so I'm gonna go ahead and select active campaign okay and then it's gonna ask you okay well what mailing list do you want to use I'm gonna go ahead and select my mailing list for your sheet geek which form do you want to use and I'm gonna go ahead and do your sheet geek subbies all and then it's gonna ask you how do you want to tag this free thing that you're giving away I think this is super important guys and it's, it's, it's important for organization it's important because you can basically segment people based on what they're interested in okay so I'm gonna just do epic website freebie opt-in as a tag okay so I'll know whenever somebody opts in for this this freebie I'll know that they've been tagged as being interested in the epic website freebie okay I'm gonna go ahead and click continue and it's gonna ask you know what are your your fields so I definitely want to select email and then I also want to select name and I want to make sure that name is a required field meaning that you can't bypass this <laughs> you have to put your name in here and I don't know about you guys but it feels weird when I just like the personalization of adding the name but I'm off the soapbox so anyway I just love that field and I always try to select it because it does help you personalize your email messages as you send them out so anyways I'm gonna click next now here you can say I just want to reload the page you can redirect it redirect it to take you or to take your email sub uh, subscribers to a custom URL or you can just say hey I just want to show a success notification after they have opted in so what I'm gonna do is just select that option and then I'll do success your freebie is making its way to your inbox okay and that's it and then I'm gonna click save and that's pretty much it now the last thing that you can do and something that I like to do is I'm going to change the um the background color for this button because it's black and I kind of want something that jumps out a little bit more um, from a conversion perspective yellow happens to be one of my favorite colors and it works well with my brand so that's the color that I'm gonna use so if you want to change the background color of this button you go over to edit form elements you're gonna click on this button you're gonna go here 
and I already have a yellow color saved for my brand. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that color. I'm going to click apply. I'm going to select done and then I'm going to save the work. OK, now the last thing is to change the copyright um, notice year at the bottom because it's 2017. But I'm just going to put 2019 and then I'm going to put your chic geek. OK, and that's it. And I'm going to save the work and that's all you have. Now I'm going to go to where it says save and exit. And I want to take a look to see how this looks. Yay! This looks fantabulous, guys. So one last bonus tip is um, one thing that I like to do whenever I'm marketing this landing page. So the goal, of course, is a landing page for a landing page, guys, is to drive traffic specifically to that landing page, you know, from social media, et cetera, and et cetera. One thing that I like to do um, that kind of helps me with uh, branding the landing page as far as marketing it on social media and all that kinds of stuff is to change the regular URL to a branded URL. Now, the easiest way to do this is to go over to this tool, which is Bitly. Okay, so this is Bitly. I'm already signed in, but I'm just going to show you how to create a branded URL really quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click copy. OK, I'm going to go over to Bitly to where it says create a bit link if I can click on it, <laughs> but just go down to where it says bit link. OK, and then it's going to ask you and I have to keep moving this guy. Sorry, but it's going to ask you to paste your long URL. OK, all right. And then it's going to create one for you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize this back end right here. OK, so instead of that googly god, whatever it gives you by default, I'm just going to say epic website. OK, and this is what is this is what I can post on social media for people to get access to this website instead of the googly god. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and let me see if it's available. It looks like it's already taken, so you will run into that. So epic website, let's see, we can do epic offer web, something like that. Okay, and I'll click save and there you go. So now it's showing me that it's available. So I'm going to go ahead and click to copy this. And so like I said, it makes it easier when you're marketing online and things like that. Um, to send people directly to this page because you created a branded URL that they can easily identify to go and get the free thing that you're giving away. So I just wanted to show you that, uh, guys, really quickly to show you how to create um, a branded URL for your marketing purposes. So I hope that hope that was per I hope that was helpful. And so, anyways, what you'll do is this is an example, and it's going to take me directly to the landing page. See. So there you go. But this is what the landing page looks like. Um, this is why I love using Thrive Architect. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and, you know, helps you um, get started with creating some epic landing pages for your businesses. And sorry that I keep popping around, but this is the end result. And yay! in under five minutes, 10 minutes, we've created something that looks really, really good. So I'm super proud of that. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys around with some other video trainings and tutorials. Okay. Cheers. Bye, guys.